All right, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite, and welcome to what was, until I discovered The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, my favorite video game of all time. Super Mario Galaxy! Thank you for that, Mario. Uh, let's go and jump right in here, because I don't think this game needs any introduction. It's basically the Super, the Super Mario 64 of my generation. Let's see, we can, uh, we know the, the warning about playing, about wearing the wrist, the wrist, the wrist strap. While playing video games, okay, Nintendo? Anyway! Yeah, there's been no, uh, fancy introductory cutscene or anything, just the title screen. Both A and B. And let's do this. And that is a Yoshi, which is... I tried recording this game a very long time ago, only to, only to discover a certain issue that my computer has while recording Wii U games. Uh, which is that it is not strong enough to record both the video and commentary at the same time. Which is why... Let's go with another Yoshi head. Uh, which is why I have wires running all over the basement here. Uh, going between the Wii U, my computer, and a secondary computer that's like ancient. Trying to record commentary so that I can record commentary on one computer and video on another. And um, I have to say, I don't think the fire department would really like my setup down here. But unless there's a spark or anything like that, I should be fine. Anyway, I guess I'll read this. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Hello, Peach. How nice. So, that's enough of that. And Mario's gonna run off looking like an airplane. He's very happy about this something special that Peach wants to give him, so I'll leave that up to your imagination. And, alright. Again, I don't think this game needs any introduction. Uh, you hit A to jump. If you hit Z and jump at the same time, you can do a long jump into Toad's face. If you hit Z and then jump, you can do a backflip, which is good for reaching high places. Um, that's about it, because the main, mar the main mechanic and Super Mario is jumping. I believe uh, Miyamoto was very adamant about that. For careful, you can do a triple jump, which is not something I'm especially good at doing. Oh! Is this, uh... Is this part of the celebration? So I've never seen the movie Independence Day, but everybody I know who has, who's also played this game, there's a triple jump, tells me that the this scene is very apparently heavily inspired by that, with the uh, the like the three button UFO flying around above the castle or something like that. There's another triple jump. Anyway, I believe if you get hit by these meteors, you can actually take damage, and it actually is possible to get a game over, like in this prologue little area. But I've never actually done that. And I don't know if I really want to waste the time doing that. So! Hello there!
I love the detail that's put into the mushroom world down on the ground, by the way. Hello. We're on a little planet shaped like a head. Finally! Let's play. I don't know if I want to read all the dialogue in this game, but again, you're going to tell me to jump with A. Which is probably something that I already know. Because I went over that in the prologue. Um, there is a fair amount of dialogue in this game. Uh, of course, Mario himself is still the silent protagonist as ever, but I guess I will read it. Let's play hide and seek. If you can catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Sounds good. Alright, so they're going to disapparate because uh, I'm a Potter maniac or uh, what do my friends call it? Potter heads? There's one star bunny and everything must come back to like Potter. And let's see, I can uh, try the long jump. If I can get you stuck on part of the geometry, like a tree or something, that'll be nice. But, come on, get back here, thank you very much. That looks moderately inappropriate. You caught me. And you're going to transform back into your star-shaped animal. Oh, I knew I should have hidden the crater. And that totally doesn't... Whoa! Wrong one. Picked up a couple of coins there. Uh, that totally doesn't tell you where another one of the, uh, the these animal things might be. Uh, I'm looking for a crater. Th that doesn't have a, a, an opposite side. All right, there we go. And I just totally jumped the wrong way. Get back here, you stupid star bunny. Today. Hello. All right, come on. This is this is getting a little annoying. I'm left to fill in the gaps in the, the, the... Okay, thank you very much. You caught me. I was going to say, you're leaving me with these awkward silences in between bits of commentary, but I if only had hidden in the pipe. Uh, fortunately for me, I was able to uh, think of something to say, which is made easier by the fact that I actually caught the thing. Uh, anyway, so this is a warp pipe. a uh, Something that's been in the Super Mario game since the very beginning in 1985. Let's see... If you, uh, if you go after the one, if you don't go after the bunny that's hiding in the tall grass first, uh, one of the other bunnies will say, I knew I should have hidden in the grass, uh, which is a little bit unhelpful, considering how much grass is in this, uh, on this planet. And, like, you could, you could be, like, stuck wondering, wow, you caught all of us, maybe you really can help mama. You could be left wondering, like, what, do I have to run around every square into the grass that's, like, in sight or something like that? But no, they mean tall grass. Anyway. So that little building has just appeared out of nowhere, and thanks to the way gravity works, I did the long jump and ended up almost exactly where I started. Oh, come on. I want to I wanna be fancy and do a high jump. Thank you very much. Hello there. I've been watching from here. It's a little weird. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need t the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Alright. So, this is going to, uh, I believe, give Mario his second main ability of this game, which is to spin, which you do by shaking the Wii Remote. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. And if, unless I'm much mistaken, she said that whole thing with her eyes wide shut. So, yeah, this uh, this Rosalina person. It's quite a character. Anyway, Luma, shake Wii Remote to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin into enemies to stun them. 
Oh, nice. So let's go and do that. This looks breakable. And I love how if you spin nearby the Lumas, they'll also spin. This is a Lawn Star. Shake Wii Remote when you're near one to shoot through the space like a comet. Now go ahead and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. He says that like they're Pokemon or something like that. Anyway, so we can do this. And we can uh, blast off to the next galaxy. The next galaxy, the next planet. Luma! Hi there, good to see you. Good to see you too, dude. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all of the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. Because, you know, black holes work like that. Let's see, so that is a star chip. Did I just do that? Did I just do that? I just did that. Well, apparently I thought your advice to not fall into the black hole was not very good. Because I just went and decided to do just that. That's three. I need to find two more. This is four. This is a, this is a one-up mushroom if I can actually get up here. I earned one additional Mario. Because you know, there's, there's, uh, there's multiple of them. Just in case you weren't sure about that. Anyway, that is five. And the, uh, the launch star has spawned on the other side of this little planet. And I can go do a long jump, flying with gravity, spinning into this thing, off to the next planet. All right. And I can go and uh, butt stomp or butt pound or butt pound. Brian and I used to call it that back when we were like little kids. But in more recent days... Really? Do you mind? This is abysmal. Thank you. All right. So I, I'm going to get that coin to restore my health. Um, yeah, butt pound sounds a tiny bit more inappropriate than it probably was meant to originally. Anyway, so after that very messy affair, let's go and spin into that because well, I don't really have any use for coins, but I can collect them anyway. Um, you there. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. Shake Wii Remote to spin into them. Once they're dizzy, you can just run into them. Yeah, so, um, accidentally hitting the Z button there. I can just go and send you spinning. Give you a nice kick to the head. And there we go. You're free! Alright, so let's go and, uh, let's see, talk to Luma here. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy up at the base there, too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump in after me after I transform! Just jump up to me. Just jump into me. I'm trying to make this dramatic, god darn it. Um, after I transform! I got it right on like the third try. So, just spin into you, give you a nice kick to the head. Isn't that like one of the missions in Fallout or something? Anyway, spin into enemies, then run into them when they're stunned to boot them. Yeah, we know that. We've been through this already. Um, I'm looking for a key, ain't I? I think I'm looking for a key. Anyway, I don't know what that move that I just did was. Um, let's see, this is a lot of star bits there. If you collect 50 of them, you will get another one up. They're basically like coins in past Mario games. So let's go and hit that big Goomba, who's not, like, conspicuous at all. And uh, he's going to be containing the key. And I can go and pick up the key. Travel down the warp pipe. Hello. Down here. All right. <clears throat> So now I'm inside the planet, because, you know, that's normal. We've been waiting for you, have you now? That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. Okay. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. It looks like it's making a real star between you and me, but whatever. Uh, we have to do something before the Grand, power is set the grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Okay. So we're going to find a way to stop that terrible machine terrible machine. I think the one that's uh, spinning in circles and trying to electrocute me personally is a little bit more terrible, but whatever you say. Wow. I know it's been a little while since I played this game, but you wouldn't think my skills have would have deteriorated this quickly. Or maybe you would have. I don't know. Anyway, so let's jump onto that flip switch. As they're called, we will learn that later. Turn off the flip switch. Okay, fine. You can tell them our name. You can tell... You can tell me their name, rather. Uh, like, as soon as I go and do it myself. And say words and stuff. Oh, come on. Speaking of terrible. Okay, I somehow did not take damage there. 
Let's do this. Everything's going to turn green. Normally, you have to turn them all yellow. But I guess in this case, they want it to be a little bit different. And we have to turn them uh, blue instead. Blue being off, yellow being on. Anyway. I really like the Grand Star music. I mean, I like the Power Star music too, but I like the Grand Star music more. Anyway, what is this? Is this the terrible machine that we have to turn off and stealing the power of the Grand Star or something? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to return here. Or we're going to enter here, rather. We're not returning here because we ain't been here before. And that thing's going to fly off into the little ball of light in the center and it's going to explode. For reasons. You know? Nintendo logic. You got a new star! Grand Star Rescue! High score, star bit count, I've discovered a new galaxy. Alright! The beacon is lit again! It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as the Class 6 star, but at least now the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star too, by the way. These star people are my family, they mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had us latched onto our ship, pulling away Starbits uh, and our power source, the Power Stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the Power Stars, and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use the, our few remaining power stars to look for other power stars. Power stars, power stars, power stars. These round rooms are called domes, and they are indeed. We observe galaxies from domes, such as these. But the only one that's working right now, powered by the star power that you restored, is this one. The Terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's full ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Mario looks very determined right there. Anyway, I think by uh, deciding to save our game right there, and even just by deciding to not save our game right there, we're like agreeing to the terms and conditions that we will indeed save the universe. But saving the universe can wait for another part of this playthrough because I've been recording for quite a while and I would like to cut it off. Uh, so, uh, as we'll leave off with Mario monkeying around and jumping all over the place, uh, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed that. My bad, and I will see you all later. I'm having way too much fun doing this.